Right now at 6, a dangerous trend on TikTok that parents need to know about. West Hartford police are saying that students are running around town with toy guns, shooting water pellets at people and their property. Now, earlier today, Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Mike Cerullo found out what parents need to watch for. It's called the Orbeez Challenge, and it's actually too dangerous for TikTok. If you search it up on the app, you'll get a screen saying that the challenge violates community guidelines. But West Hartford police say it's happening right here in town, and they want it to stop before someone gets seriously hurt. I certainly wouldn't want to be startled that way myself. Just think it's part of a violence trend that it can start kids on the wrong way. While they may look small and harmless inside this bottle, West Hartford police say getting hit by one of these Orbeez can hurt. They're little tiny beads that you soak in water and they fill up and it's essentially almost like a paintball gun but now little gel beads. Just about two weeks ago, they say someone was sent to the hospital with minor injuries after they got shot on school grounds. This one was taken as evidence in a recent case. But this is one of the more commonly um, available ones. Police want you to remember what these look like and discourage kids from taking part in the challenge. It's something Christine Healy talks about with her young grandkids so they don't try it out when they're older. Try to explain the dangers. Hope they're intelligent enough to understand that and accept it and not partake in it. To have guns out, what if some kid pulls out a gun that looks like a real gun and then something terrible happens? A real concern for officers. If someone calls police or they see a kid with what looks like a real gun, there's a possibility that student could be shot. If you modify this in a way that makes it more difficult to distinguish the difference between a toy and a true firearm, the public may not know the difference and police officers responding may not know the difference. So Somebody could lose an eye. I mean that old thing, but somebody really could, and I'm not even joking around. West Hartford Public Schools wants to make it very clear no guns, not even toy guns, are allowed on campus on any school property. They're asking parents to talk with their kids to make sure they're not bringing those guns around the community and shooting people with them. In West Hartford, Mike Cerullo, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Also